Well, welcome, welcome to worship, worship here at Community Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church. It's good, good to have, have you with us. us. Before, Before we get we started, started with our service, service this is a brief announcement. announcement. Next, Next week, October 3rd, hard, hard to believe, October, October already, already. We, will we will still bring World Communion Sunday, Sunday, and we will be in our sanctuary for the service. So do remember that you will need to bring your mask. But we will celebrate communion together and celebrate it with Christians all over the world. Come, come together. together. Please, Please do pay attention to the quick notes that go out on Wednesday, Wednesday and the chimes with the calendar of events, events that are going on at the church. church. Uh, lots lots happening, happen, and do pay attention to those. If, if for some, some reason, reason you're not getting either, either of those, those please call the office. office Jennifer will make sure that you do. Those are our announcements. Let us worship together. Today we Come, come together, together to bless quilts. Forty-six quilts made by the Christians of the church. Quilts, quilts that will be given to those in need. That will, that will be a blessing to other people. people. So, so let, let us come, come together, together and bless these quilts. quilts. We, we gather this morning with thankful hearts. Thankful, thankful for the many hands endowed with the gift to create. Thankful for the hearts of these women to serve others. Share the love of God through their work. And we, we give thanks for your love for us, O God, and the abundance of your grace poured out through Jesus Christ our Lord. You alone are our God, and we are your people. Quilts are made from a place of love. May these quilts be the tender and grace of the love of ours, and the love of those who see them in everlasting and unconditional love. May they feel seen and value as a child of God. Quilts are made to provide warmth and comfort. May these quilts bring warmth to those isolated and alone. May they feel an overwhelming sense of belonging. May we welcome them into this community as a sibling in Christ, recognizing the unique gifts empowered by our Creator. Jesus taught that whatever we do for the least of these, those ignored and undervalued by society, we do for him. May these quilts be a love offered to God, and may they honor Jesus, whom we seek to follow with all our hearts. And now, may the love of God and the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the fellowship in Christ go out with these quilts into the world, bring healing and wholeness to those who receive them. Amen. Amen. Join me in the call to worship. We gather this day in a week filled with needs and demands. We come to find rest and renewal of our spirits. Open your hearts in love to hear the voice of God. We want to quietly rest in God's presence, free from the clamor of the world. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.
As we experience the grace of God, let us pause and find the rest in God promised by Jesus. Patient God, we schedule our lives down to the very second. We crowd in as much activity as we can and then wonder why we are so stressed out and tired. We are afraid to miss out on anything. And when it comes time to be with others, we spend our time worrying about details rather than longing for the visit. Forgive us when we get so caught up in the details and miss the opportunity to sit at your feet, learning, listening, growing in faith. Help us to place ourselves in your care. Slow us down so that we can see the wonders you have placed before us and truly enjoy and share the blessings you have given to us. On the seventh day of creation, God rested, creating a Sabbath, a time set apart for us to rest, to learn, to listen, and to be quiet and at peace. Let Sabbath take root in your heart and in your life. Be at peace in God's love for you. Thanks be to God. slumbering people. So stir, stir, stir us with your voice and enlighten our lives with your grace that we give ourselves fully to Christ's call to mission and ministry. Amen. Our gospel reading this morning is from the book of Mark, chapter 2, verses 23 through 28. Jesus went through the wheat fields on the Sabbath as the disciples made their way, they were picking the heads of wheat. The Pharisees said to Jesus, Look, they are breaking the Sabbath law. Why are they breaking the Sabbath law? He said to them, Haven't you ever read what David did when he was hungry and in need, when he and those with him were hungry? During the time when Abathar was high priest, David went into God's house and ate the bread of the presence which only the priests were allowed to eat. 
he also gave bread to those who were with him. Then he said, the Sabbath was created for humans. Humans weren't created for the Sabbath. This is why the human one is Lord even over the Sabbath. We continue with our series on the Ten Commandments today. I'll be reading, starting at the first commandment in Exodus 20. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You must have no other gods for me. Do not, Do not make an idol, idol for yourself, no, no form whatsoever, of anything in the sky above, or on the earth below, or in the, the, earth, below, or in the or waters, waters under, under the earth. Do not bow down, down to them, them or worship them, because, because I, the Lord your God, God am a passionate God. God. I punish children, children for their parents, parents sin, even, even to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. But I am loyal and gracious to the thousands of generations of those who love me, my commandments. Do not, Do not give the Lord, Lord your God's name as, as if it were of no, no significance. The Lord, the Lord won't give anyone, anyone who uses his name that way. Remember, Remember the Sabbath, Sabbath day and treat it as, as holy. Six, Six days, days you may work and all your tasks, tasks but the seventh, seventh day is the Sabbath, Sabbath to the Lord your God. God. Do not do, do not any work, work on it. Not, not you, you if your sons or daughters, or daughters your male or free female servants, your animals, animals, or the, or the immigrant, immigrant who is living, living with you. Because, because the Lord, Lord made the heavens and the earth, the, earth, the sea, and everything, everything in it, in six, in six days, days, but rested, rested on, on the seventh, seventh day. day. That, that is, is why the Lord blessed, blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. The word, the word of God, God for the people of God. There are some, some things that we really stink at. Rest, Rest is, is one, one of those, those things. things. We're, We're awful, awful at it. People, People in the United, United States, States are terrible, terrible at resting. We are driven by our calendars. We are driven by very, very full calendars. With hardly ever, ever a moment to pause, to pause and rest. rest. How bad, How bad is, is it? Here's, Here's a, a statistic for you. In 2018, American workers left a record number of vacation days unused. 768 million vacation days were not used by American workers a single year. That's, That's up, up 9% from the year before. before. So not only are we bad at it, we're getting worse, worse at it. Of, of those, those unused days, 236 million were forfeited, equaling a loss of $65.5 billion dollars worth of benefits. More than, More than half, half of U.S. workers who get paid time, time off reported that they did not all of their, their allotted time. time. Worse, Worse than, than that, so many, many workers, workers aren't even given paid time. time. If, if they, they don't, don't work, they don't, they don't get paid. paid. And they're and unable to meet their, their bills. bills. We're, We're terrible, terrible at rest. And more, and more importantly, importantly, our culture, our culture society, society actually punishes us. us. When, when we rest, rest. or when, when we need rest, or when, or when we, we admit, admit that we, that can't, we can't do it all, all. or that we're, we're overworked, or that we're stressed, stressed out, out, or burnt out, out. We're, not we're not rewarded, rewarded or punished. That, that is the culture, culture we live in as we come to this, this commandment. commandment. God, God set aside a day, day of rest, rest a Sabbath, a day, a day to pause, pause from work and, and labor, labor, a day to recuperate our bodies and our, our minds. minds. It, was it was so, so important, important that God, who 
as the as best, best I can understand, understand it, doesn't, doesn't really need rest. rest. But, but God, God even paused, paused after, after creation, creation and took a break, and marveled, and marveled at the creation, creation and called it good, good and blessed, blessed that, that day to its full. Sabbath goes, goes back, back a long, long time. time. The command, the command to rest, rest to, to take time, time to, to take, take a day, day goes, goes back, back thousands and thousands and thousands of years. But for those thousands and thousands of years, years, thousands thousands of years society, society has worked, worked against that. But little bit called, called it lazy, lazy and wasteful, wasteful and, and pushed, pushed us, us to do more. In a, In a small, small book, book that I highly recommend, recommend by a Walter Brueggemann called Sabbath as Resistance, Say No, no to the Culture of Now, now. The, author the author writes, Sabbath is, is an act of both resistance and alternative. And alternative. It, is it is resistance because it, because it is, it is a, a visible insistence, insistence that, that our, our lives are not defined by the production and the, and the consumption, consumption of commodity, of commodity goods. goods. Such, Such an act of resistance requires enormous, enormous intentionality and communal reinforcement amid, amid the barrage of seductive, seductive pleasures, pleasures from the insatiable instances of our market. With, with its intrusion in every, every part, part of our life, life from, from the family, family to the national, national budget. budget. But the Sabbath, Sabbath is not only resistance, resistance it is also it is, it is an alternative to the demanding, shattering, pervasive presence of advertising and its, its great liturgical claim of professional, professional sports, sports that devour all of our rest of time. He calls the fourth commandment on the Sabbath the most difficult, but the most urgent, urgent commandment in our society. society. I, tend I tend to agree with him on that. And, and I, I like, like this, this idea, idea of Sabbath as resistance. resistance. Because, because if you remember, our lives as Christians are to be countered to the culture that we live in. Christians have always, always been countered to the culture that looks different, different in different, different eras of human existence. existence. But what, what better way to counter to our culture than to resist, resist working on ourselves? To resist, to resist working, working ourselves, ourselves to the point of burnout, burnout where we see these record, record numbers of people, people suffering from anxiety, anxiety and illness, chronic illnesses as a result of stress, stress to, to die, die younger than we needed to, to all to stay busy. busy. Sabbath is countercultural. It, it is resistance to the world. Sabbath is about as countercultural as we can be. Because, because with, with Sabbath, Sabbath, we are acknowledging that God created us for more than, than what we can produce, for more than, than our productivity, and it values each, each person intimately and purposefully. We struggle with rest, and our kids are struggling with rest. When I started getting involved as a pastor with youth groups, it's in my mind how involved they are, and what the challenges are like, and how difficult it is to get them all together. So many things going on all the time. I don't know that we're setting the best example. I think, I think we're, we're passing, passing on, on what burdens us. us. The invitation here is, though, for Sabbath and rest to take time to acknowledge that we are worth more than we can produce, that we are all worth the same, same created in the image of God, God and that and rest, rest is vital to our faith. faith. Because, because without, without rest, without pause, we can't, we can't hear God, God speak. speak. We, we can't, can't notice God, God move among us. us. And we, we can't, can't follow, follow when God, God talks. Rest, rest is vital. vital. It's, it's not, not wasteful. wasteful. It's, it's not lazy. It's, it's life-giving. 
And God, God knew that, that for us. us. As, As our creator, God, God knew we needed this. So, so as a modern, modern reader, reader of this text, text as someone who moved, moved so far from when it was given, given let us reclaim that. Let, let us reclaim a time of rest, rest, a day of rest, rest setting aside our calendars, calendars blocking, blocking out time, time being, being with friends, friends and family, getting, getting out, out into nature, nature. Whatever, whatever it is that, that renews us, us engaging our faith, faith focusing on our God and our relationship with God. God. Sabbath is that important for us. And I can't, I can't help but think that, that our ignoring Sabbath, Sabbath has had such a negative impact on us in the church. You see, Sabbath, Sabbath is not about gathering for Sunday morning and worshiping worship and going about our time like nothing happened. happened. In, in fact, fact, worship, worship is a mention with Sabbath. Sabbath. There's, There's no compulsion no to worship. worship. The compulsion is to rest. To refocus. To give, to give ourselves, ourselves a break. break. That is what, what I want you all to do today. today. Whatever, Whatever you're going to do the rest of the day. Rest. rest. And if, if you can't, can't do, do it today, today do, it do it tomorrow. tomorrow. Find, Find a day during the week, week to take time. time. Clear, Clear your calendar. And, and give, give yourself, yourself because, because if God, God rested, rested, how much, how much more, more so, so do we need to rest? Amen. As the leaves drift down from the trees onto the ground, help us to stop, pick up those leaves, and look at how perfectly they are made. As we hear geese fly overhead as they head south, help us to stop and ponder what it means. We would like to be more like our pets, to sleep, to stretch, and to love. Help us to make every Sabbath about you. Quiet our heart. Help us to reset, to refocus. 
to give rest to our soul and to our spirit. We know that only true renewal comes from you. Holy Spirit, please help us to be intentional with our time and worship and encourage us to find rest in you alone. Help us to be mindful. Help us to remember to just breathe deep. We pray this in the name of your son, Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. There are many ways for you to support CBC. You can give online through the website, hitting the Give Now button. You can send your offering to the office. You can share these worship services with family and friends. You can volunteer your time for the work of the church. And however you support this congregation, do so out of joy and with thanksgiving in your heart.
not simply added together, but somehow multiplied in its usefulness. We ask to bless our gifts and with the addition of your blessing, just as it was with the loaves and fishes, there is enough for all. Amen. Joyfully said, 